everyone, good afternoon and happy new year. Hope you had a good holiday season. Your lights shows have been going well. I never did get around to doing a final kind of setup video. So I thought I'd take a moment here and kind of show you what the final setups things were like and the few last minute additions that got in. And one of those right here being the uh, driveway snowman. In previous years, I had trees here, which were a store-bought prop that I converted to pixels and uh, look really cool. And if you've ever seen some of the sequences, and things I've done with them, um, really cool effects on them. And people would ask me, how do I get them? And the answer was, you can't, they're a store-bought prop and you can't get them anymore and you gotta convert them. So I've been working on these for quite some time. And so I have the snowman and I have a tree version as well for these. And they work with pixel strips and a really cool look so you can do it. So I'll try and get some footage of these guys at night. Uh, they look amazing, uh, like them a whole lot better than the uh, trees that I started with or the store-bought trees that I converted over so really happy with how those turned out and in the process of designing those um, there's a insert in them that looks really cool and so that was the basis for coming up with the strip stakes which are my version of the piece stake and so as the name implies it uses pixel strips so a strip is folded over in each one of those and that creates uh, both a up and a down or a right and a left side to them so you can get really cool things uh, and effects that you can't get with any other type of stake or uh, pixel force or whatever you want to call these things. And there's a really cool uh, method that these are attached and I just put this out the other day so I didn't spend much time to get them aligned and perfectly straight. But the way these things work is there's a essentially the light clips into a mount and then that has a ball and socket that uh, mounts on the ground and allows you for a full adjustment in every direction. And then there's just a set screw that you can then tighten to lock it in place. So the intent on this is you can get one of those little like fisheye levels and I'm going to be working on creating a part that you can attach the fisheye level to that and then that would clip on top of each stake and then you just line it up and get it perfectly level and then tighten the screw down and then everyone will be absolutely perfectly aligned. So really cool setup on that. So look for another video, I'll go into that in a little more detail. And really the only other thing over here that I didn't get a chance to talk about in the other videos was the runway. So I spent a lot of time on the runway this year re-engineering it and making it so that it goes together really quickly compared to before. It's also really straight. As you can see, everything is just perfectly straight lines and it doesn't sag in places because that was an issue before, that especially later in the year after it's had some snowfall, snowfall on it and the weight from the snow, uh, when we do get the storms through, that would cause some sagging on it. So this thing was totally redone and really happy with it. So I want to show you kind of a little more detail here on how this runaway goes together. So the first thing, on these sections that just have uh, the single sections is I'm using a, uh, this is kind of the brace for it. So these happen to be aluminum channel. That's just what I had at the time when I made this, but um, this concept and what I'm doing on here, I will apply it for the EMT and PVC offerings on the website for those uh, pixel bulbs. But this is a bracket I made and that fits the channel. So it just sits on the ground and then has little holes in it so you can use, or I'm using six inch little, little tiny landscape stakes just to hold it in place. And not every one along the main sections needs a stake. Only every couple or every other one will I actually put the stake in the base there. The rest just sit on the ground. So that just goes in there and the uh, conduit just snaps in place on it and holds it really nice in place. And then on the sections here where I have three and five together, it's basically the same thing. I have a base and then a top part, and you can't really see it here, but this top part has some screws. So this is just a small part that goes in here, and there's some wing nuts on the bottom, so I can loosen these wing nuts. And when that's loosened, that allows me to slide this back and forth to get perfect alignment. So you can get one side in and then you can just eyeball it, kind of align it. And once you get it there, you tighten the wing nuts down and that locks it in place. And so this just has three in each section. And then there's another three 
on the other side. And so that holds that in place. And that's the same thing here. So this is really easy to get aligned. And the other thing I did on the runway for the main outline of the runway was I used a uh, laser um, used in contracting. So a little square contractor's level that I actually 3D printed a little base for it to uh, raise it up at the right height here. And so basically I would align it here, like around this corner, and it would shoot a beam right down. I'd shoot the beam on the tip of the light so you could actually see the laser reflecting all the way down and then you could just get that perfectly aligned. So once you got this kind of square or rectangle here for the runway, that was easy. And then these um, lead-in lights here, or the, uh, uh, the lead-in lights there, and the side rotor lights would just get uh, aligned. You just align to the center point there, make sure you're 90 degrees, and it went through really easily. So that's how that's set up. And this is just really cool. I can't even get, begin to tell you how fast this goes through compared to what it was before. And uh, with these little stakes, that I had and little printed parts. And if you put any side load on them, you'd snap the printed parts and, oh, it's such a pain. And now this is a uh, really fast operation to get this thing out. And I can't wait for next year to uh, get started with this from the beginning since uh, this year we kind of started the old way since I didn't have this new one uh, designed yet and then actually um, worked on this in process. So really cool. But you can see each section here, I'm just running three of those little posts on each 10 foot section. And then there's just a little coupler, same coupler I had before, just a little printed coupler that holds the sections together and just keep going. So it's all in 10 foot sections on this uh, main section of the runway. So it makes that all modular. And then these guys are kind of specific too. And what I think I'm actually gonna do, assuming I can have room for storage, is I'm going to store these in the groups, in the clusters of three. It's so not going to take them off, even though it's pretty easy to take them off. Um, but I think I'll just try and see if I can store them that way. But the other nice thing with this is when I assemble these, I can assemble these just on a table in the garage. I just assemble them, make sure they're all kind of square, all their sections on each one are aligned. And then you just carry it out and drop it in place and put a couple of the little um, landscape, landscape stakes on them and they are uh, good to go. So I also will convert these over. These are my, these are function as what are called runway and identification lights. So there's one on either end of the runway and it's just a, um, those little strips, they're, they're made from pixel strips that are put in the little modules. There's three, three per module. And I had, can, put those into an electrical conduit box and put a plexiglass cover on top. So I've been using those before as kind of a little low wattage floodlight. So they work, but I'll replace them because I had some here and I did this 3D printed design uh, with a light diffuser on it that's white. So those show red and white at night. Uh, really cool. So I'm gonna adapt that design and uh, move it to those guys next year. Just a little bit of work. But yeah, that's the runway. This thing is uh, is a beast and goes together so nice. And like I said, I think the parts and components on this will be well adapted for the uh, the mounting system, at least, for using on the Pixabulb, um, Brilliant Bulb mounts that we have. A lot of people use with EMT and PVC pipe to uh, use for their outlines. So that'll be a good improvement for next year. And I think that'll um, be something that'll be added to the store with those mounts.